See that charity shop over there? I once got an original cast recording of Camelot for 95p. I got so excited, I nearly forgot the 5p change. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're all right? Alec, please stop asking me if I'm all right. All right. That, that wasn't an all right question. That was all right, too. All right, Alec. Yeah, OK, OK. All right, shall we see if we can get Camelot, too? Hello, Mr. Callender. Oh, hello, Mrs. Posner. Oh, it's a uh, Ms., not Mrs. Oh, aye, of course, <laughs> Ms. Posner. <laughs> well, it's very nice to see you. Cheerio. <laughs> Alec, until they declare Pinner a baby-free zone, I am going to bump into the odd one now and then. I'm sorry. And you've done nothing but apologise since the whole thing. I'm sorry. Alec, I'm all right. I'm not falling apart. I just want to get back to work and get back to... I'm all right. I wish you'd come away for a couple of days. Oh, OK, OK. Well, if you want me, thing of me, ring of me, OK? Hiya, Dot. <laughs> what are you doing out? Oh, it's all right. I've been electronically tagged. I can't get far. Come and have a cup of coffee. Hey. They don't keep the doctor away. I think I'll get Alec to sit. But, Doctor, I only came in to have my ears syringed. No. <laughs> but, Doctor, I only came in to have my ears syringed. <laughs> Hilary, what are you doing? It's a joke. <laughs> well, my magazine said guys go for girls with a sense of humour. Your husband will certainly need one. <laughs> anyway, Hilary, how can you joke when poor Mr Callender... No, Miss Flubb, if I don't, I get all upset and I stop. Yes, I know, Hilary. Daryl and I were talking about it all last night. All last night? <laughs> Hilary, there is more to a relationship than... Anyway, um, how's your Derek? Oh, I think he's hovering between me and Noreen Dartley, like a little bumblebee. <laughs> well, just make sure it's not you who gets pollinated. <laughs> I don't know. All the fun seems to have gone out of conveyancing these days. Mm. Hilary, any calls? Oh, yeah. A girl called Peugeot rang. Peugeot? You don't mean Porsche. Oh, I knew it was one of them cars. <laughs> <laughs> Is she your new girlfriend? Yeah, she misbehaves herself. <laughs> hey, Miss Flood, I hope Jerry's treating our duel with respect. Oh, I'm afraid he is, Jamie. <laughs> Hilary! <laughs> <laughs> well, we shouldn't be joking, not when... Oh, but, Doctor, I only came in to have my ears syringed. <laughs> <laughs> Hilary, sometimes the punchline isn't enough. <laughs> morning. Good morning. Oh. Hi, Dad. Good morning, Mr Callum. Uh, how's Zoe? Oh, she's, uh, she's fine. Yes, she's, uh, she's fine. <laughs> uh, she's tough. Oh, she loved the flowers, by the way. Oh, it took my cousin ages to get over it. Does your Zoe cry all the time? Uh, no, 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 she doesn't cry. <laughs> I'm the blubberer. She's brave. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> why doesn't the Queen wave with this hand? I don't know, I don't know why. Because it's mine. <laughs> I got that from my grandson yesterday. <laughs> well, it's not the Queen's, you see. I know it's not hysterical, but... Dad, you go and sit down and make a nice cup of coffee, eh? Aye, aye, yes. Oh, um, tell me, how's your uh, girlfriend? Uh, has she uh, seen through your chat yet? Not yet, no. Oh, you must be getting better. Yeah. <laughs> it's mine, you... No. That poor man, hiding his grief behind a pain racked smile. Well, don't you burst into tears. I need that like I need a hole in the head. A Smith and Wesson, 38. Oh, Perry, do I need to talk to you? Because it's mine. 
Hey? Oh, come on, you two. Please don't. Look, have some grapes. I think it's so great the way you joke. <laughs> After what's happened? Yeah, well, that's just the way... <gasps> oh, I was just so rotten to you when you got pregnant. I was so jealous. You weren't rotten, Debs. She was, though. Uh... <laughs> yeah, well, no rottener than usual. <laughs> oh, come on, Debbie. Here. Look, have mine. It's dry. <laughs> Look, tell me about Trev. Come on, Debbie. Well, I gave him an ultimatum. I said it was either me or the night shifts. Oh, he didn't choose the night shifts, did he? No, of course not. Asked for a week to think about it. <laughs> Typical. And what about Roy? Oh, well, he's coming round later on for a little Never bit. Never mind what for. <laughs> How's Alec taking it? Oh, he's sad, Mum. And scared. Well, he probably thinks that time's running out. Look, he's 57, not 87. <laughs> I mean, I just can't think... You know, up here... I still think I'm... He keeps asking me if I'm OK. Well, I don't know. What's OK? Oh, you look terrific. Yeah, well... I've got my big babies to see to. Now, you two be all right? Yes. You go, so. Do you know I'm here, don't you? Oh, Mum. You've been great, both of you. Miserable, but great. <laughs> so, why doesn't the Queen wave with this hand? Because it's, it's yours. yours. Ta da! Keep this loving you this evening and stay away from the onions. Oh, I think she seemed a lot happier when she left, didn't she? What families are for? <laughs> and unless you remove the obstruction immediately, we shall be obliged to send in the boys and give you a jolly good spanking with a rubber flipper. <laughs> Miss Flood. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Callender. I was. Are you seeing Jerry tonight? Yes, probably. Well? Actually, I'm giving him dinner. Oh, that's nice. A special dinner. Oh, what's the occasion? Has he plastered his thousandth leg? <laughs> it's our 21st. 21 weeks since we first met at the tea rooms. Oh. 21 weeks since you first made his apple crumble. <laughs> His record was three months, but for two of those he was in Kidderminster. Ah. Things seem to move a great deal faster these days. <laughs> I should say so. I bumped into Ms. Posner today. Bold as brass she was, with a bonny wee baby. I mean, oh, that wouldn't have happened. Oh, God. <laughs> Miss Flood, here you are. <coughs> there. <laughs> Miss Flood, I need your help. How, um... How can I persuade Zoe to come away for the weekend? Oh, just book it, Mr. Callender. We women love to be taken unawares. <laughs> no, I don't mean... I mean oh, uh, Mr. Callender. Yes, Hilary. Mr. Callender. Mm. Uh, Jamie's new girlfriend's here, Volvo. <laughs> you should see her. She's one of them barristers. Well, if you're up to it, that is. I mean, after all, you've been... Oh, Dad, happy. sorry to disturb you. Can I come in a minute? Oh, please do. I've just got the Sob Sisters here. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Dad, oh. this is Portia. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's good to meet you, Mr. Callender. Oh, hello. I'm honoured. I used to let Portia crib all my essays at university. I just thank God I couldn't read his handwriting. Oh, well, I'm glad all Cambridge lawyers didn't turn out bad. <laughs> that's it. Build me up. I can take it. I've just been telling Portia about my plan to single-handedly save the business. Are you getting another job, are you? <laughs> are you off out? Yep, I've saved up all my Christmas bonuses and there's a table at McDonald's with our name on it. <laughs> my learned friend. Yes, Your Honour. I hope to see you again, Mr. Callender. Well, if you don't, I shall have words with him. <laughs> oh, uh, Jimmy. Look, uh, take her out somewhere nice, eh? On me. Dad, this is a year's wages. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be like her. She knows what she wants and she goes for it. Derek's going to see a new executive Hillary. Mm. Here, I'm just off out for a cheese and pickle back. Do you fancy one, Mr. Callender? I would sell my granny for a cheese and pickle back, Hillary. <laughs> right, now where were we? Uh, you were about to send the boys in to give them a jolly good spanking with a rubber flipper. <laughs> Need another erogenous zone. 
Not this week, anyway. Hi, sweetie. Danny's home. I'm home. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's like a charity premiere of Love Story at work. <laughs> <coughs> Simone just popped oh. round to ask how our coke today, seeing all those kids. Oh, and how did you? Well, I kept wanting to breastfeed the head boy, but otherwise I managed. <laughs> How about you? Oh, I just wish I had the Kleenex concession for Pinner. Every time they stopped crying, they'd start crying again. Yeah, it's no fun seeing the quivering lower lip of a six-foot Welsh gym teacher either. <laughs> I must be the only dry eye in the house. There's no rules, you know. Simone says when she visits women like me, they all break down. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> she could make the laughing policeman cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alec, you are driving me slowly insane with your constant apologising. No, I, I just want to get back to normal, wherever the hell that is. Look, um, maybe this would help. A weekend in the country, eh? Good food, nice walks, hot and cold, running chambermaids, hmm? I got it from one of the credit cards. Oh, and you think that'll do nicely? <laughs> A weekend in the bloody country, Alec. Everybody seems to know what's best for me. Have a good cry, Zoe. Take a wee break, Zoe. Just tell me one thing, Alec. Whose miscarriage is this? It's early days yet. I, uh, I met Jamie's new girlfriend, Portia. I reckon it's serious. Oh, well, I'm glad you've got something to look forward to. I'm sorry, Alec. Oh, God, you've got me at it now. I'm sorry about the weekend. I'm sorry I'm such rotten company. I'm sorry they've put double yellow lines on all my old erogenous zones. <laughs> I'm sorry it's just leftovers from the leftovers. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hmm. All of me, why not take all of me? <laughs> Morning, Miss Flub. Oh, good morning, Jamie. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Are you OK? Yes. Why? I don't know. You, um, you seem different. Oh, I'm wearing contact lenses. Daryl said I was hiding schoolgirl eyes behind granny glasses. Oh. <laughs> Haven't used that line for a while. <laughs> Were you in chambers with your barrister last night? Did mm. she let her wig down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Hillary? I think she's having it out with her Derek. Portia seems to have had an effect on her. Yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> morning, morning. Yeah. Here, you'll never guess what happened. It's fine. It's all right. I'm fine. Why does everybody keep asking? Well, I steamed into the undertakers and I said, Derek, you put that thing down and listen. It's me or Noreen Dartley. I ain't being no one's bit on the side. Oh, Hilary, it's better than nothing. Miss Flood! <laughs> He picked up the body of this old bloke in Pinner. He was dead. No relations. And he found something in the house. And guess what? He gave it to me to look after. What is it, an heirloom? No, no, the bloke's as bald as a coot. <laughs> Derry said he'd have a Johnson coat. Like a fur coat? Get in warmer. Oh, it's a... God, what in God's name? <laughs> Who left this out there? I could have ruptured myself. Arnold? Well, I had to take him. Derek's mum don't like dogs. Or oh, Derek. Oh, no, she likes Derek. It's just... Hillary. And Derek couldn't keep him down the undertakers because of all them bones. Well, what's he doing here? <laughs> well, is he going to do it all over my suit? Hey, didn't give him to Noreen Dartley, did he? Oh, we're so lucky, aren't we? <laughs> Miss Flood, you are in charge of the outer office. File him. Yes, Mr. Calder. Miss Flood. Are you okay? There's something different about you. Yeah, I said that. Is that? Yeah. Oh, no glasses. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. Hillary, we can't have him here. The clients will think they're in a vet. I'll get those two bricks out of the cupboard. That'll do. Oh, Mr. Kellington. Look. I want that hound out of here by lunchtime. Jamie, you can have him in your office. I doubt if you've got any clients. Oh, yeah, he does. We kept your mornings clear, though, because of, well, you know, your 
inner sadness. Well, don't all of you look at me like that. You neither. <laughs> well, I'm not entirely sure what the legal position is, Arnold. <laughs> Do you mind if I call you Arnold? Can I talk to you man to dog? Here we, we are, Arnold. It's your ding-dings. Yes, it is. It's my little love token, Arnie Wani. I think I'm going to be sicky wicky. <laughs> I'm so sorry you've been troubled, Mr. Calendar. Oh, please. Uh, oh, that's a nice outfit. <laughs> oh, you've seen it lots of times. What on you, have I? My <laughs> dad. Hey, I'm not surprised you're getting a divorce. I hear your wife's a dog. <laughs> I'm thinking of taking him on. He has a great grasp of law. And his table manners are better than yours. <laughs> Only a bit. Mm. Who's minding the store? Oh, hi. Hi, oh, Zoe. Hello, Zoe. Mm. You shouldn't be standing. Are oh, you feeling a bit better now, Zoe? I'm fine. I'm fine. Cry and I'll shoot you. <laughs> What's that slobbering sound? It's me. I'm pleased to see you. <laughs> it's a dog! Oh! Aww. And there was I, no. thinking it was Mrs. Hurst come to see her beauty parlour. <laughs> your name? Arnold. Oh, His yeah. lips never moved. <laughs> I thought you came to see me. No, I had a lunch date with Arnold. Looks oh. like he started without me, though. Mm. Now, I've overdone the shopping, Alec. OK. I'll take you to school, superwoman. Yes. Zoe, you're so brave. Oh, it's a good job I got my stiff upper lip badge at Guy's, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely, Miss Flood. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> there you are. Bye-bye, mm. Arnold. Bye-bye, yeah. boy. Oh. Hey, Dad, mm. you're not really going to give him my job, are you? You'd have to pay him more than me, and he'd bury his briefs in the garden. You'll stand by me, won't you, girls? Work, or you don't get any Bob Martins. <laughs> Hello, what are you doing here? I've only just... Oh, you. I thought I'd take some time off to be with my wee wifey. I'm all right, Alec. Huh? I'm on the mend. Oh, oh I've got some uh, Earl Grey in the pot. Shall I bring him in? No, I fancy strong black coffee. Oh. I can enjoy that again now. And vodka. And that big Havana cigar I've been saving. <laughs> Alec! What? Come and look at my kitchen. What is it? <coughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's been a naughty boy then? <laughs> what was that doing in my kitchen? <clears throat> Well, I, I should have thought that was obvious. <laughs> Must have been the excitement. <laughs> Come on. Say hello to Zoe. Hello, Zoe. Stay out of this. Alec, what possessed you to bring him here? Well, you, really. Me? Why? You liked him so much in the office. And that's where I'd like him now, please. Off you go. Oh, Zoe, look, no one will have him. Arnold's an orphan. My heart bleeds. What about the RSPCA? Oh, they'll probably have him put down. Well, it sounds reasonably. <gasps> you didn't hear that. It's all right. She didn't mean it. She didn't mean it. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, really? So. Alec, what are you doing? Oh, look, you you were so taken with him. I've got something to love. You. St. Alec of Flaming Assisi. Look, I'm sure. <laughs> Once you get to know him, you'll love him. Either mm. that goes or I go. We're going to miss her, aren't we, Arnoldy? Hold on. Oh, look, just for a few days, please, eh? While I work out what to do. No, I know you. You're hoping I'll take to him. Well, don't hold your breath, Alec. No? Well, what'll I do, then? Stick a handle on him and wipe the kitchen floor. Come on. We're not staying where we're not wanted, are we? I'm not playing, Alec. Uh, oh, go away. Uh... Which one of you two's been pouring my magazine? <laughs> well, give the note to me, Tracy, and I'll make sure Mr. Morgan Jones gets it. And wipe your nose. <laughs> the only part of her that ever runs these days. <laughs> oh, Zoe, I'd do anything to be able to help you. You don't want an adorable little schnauzer dog, do you? Dream on, Zoe. <laughs> I nearly turned into a pit bull PE teacher last night. I've given them both till the weekend. Well, you know, Alec meant well. Oh, I know. It's not him, Sonia. It's me. I've just got no feelings for it. Or anything else for that matter. I just can't. Hiya, Sonia. Roy. Hello, Zoe. How are you bedding up, all right? If you blubber again. <sighs> I won't. Hey, I saw Debbie last night. We had a long chat about you. We do care, you know. Oh, thanks, Roy. 
No, you know she's only using you to get at Trev, don't you? Yes, I know. But if it helps her. You know, I'm seeing you in a totally different light these days. You don't want a dog, do you? Oh, Sonia, there's any room for one animal in my house, eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is the life, eh, Arnold? A nice, brisk walk before Daddy goes to work. <laughs> he could begin to take this personally, you know. He's your dog, Alec. <laughs> when his belly scrapes the ground, you know it's time to go home. <laughs> That's it, Arnold. Jump for it. Ha-ha! <laughs> well done. Now, hire. Well done. <laughs> oh, you are a clever dog. Have you seen this? My God, it's a clever dog. You should send him to university. Say Aberdeen's good. <laughs> good night, Zoe. Good night, Alec. Good night, Arnold. What? We joke. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Well, now you can forget about the past and just think of the future, Mrs. Deggles. A new life, a new house, a new dog, maybe? Hmm? Oh, you're allergic. Damn. Oh, well, cheerio. Is uh, something wrong, Mr. Callender? Uh, uh, no, no, not at all. Uh, Mrs. Deggles, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Jeff, stay, stay. Come, boy, come, boy, come, boy. Here, put that sheep down. <laughs> One man and his dog, eh? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Do you fancy a hound to keep you warm? Not desperately. Oh. How about Portia? I prefer her. <laughs> <sighs> is uh, Zoe still really cross? Well, oh, she's not really anything. She's in some sort of limbo. It's as if we've forgotten how we used to be before. Well, couldn't you get Miss Flood to adopt Arnold? Well, that's an idea. Then I'd have visitation rights. <laughs> you know, Miss Flood is different these days. Yeah, I've noticed that. What do you think it is? I don't know. Oh, Mr. I... Callender. Yes, Hilary. Mr. Callender, have you got a moment? Yes. Well, I'm just so excited. I want to tell everyone. Oh. Guess what? What? My Derek just rang. He's lost his job. <laughs> Hilary, I told you not to. Oh, Mr. Callender, I'm it so sorry. It was his fault, of course. He'd forgotten his mum's birthday and had to drop off some flowers on the way. Uh, to the funeral? Yeah. Well, there were plenty of us. Uh, so Hilary, uh, mind... why are you so pleased? Well, don't you see? No. He rang me, not Noreen Dartley. Oh. He's coming round tonight to resurrect our union. Mm. Yes, well, I'm sure he's quite a catch, Hilary, but we must let Mr Callender get on with some work. Mm. Mm, that smells nice, Hilary. Oh, no, it ain't me. It's Miss Fudd's passion. Oh. Is that a perfume? Not necessarily. <laughs> you know, I've always thought of Miss Flood as Miss Flood, not as... She's a woman, Dad. I know. It's going to take a bit of getting used to, I tell you. <laughs> Calendar. Oh, hi, Zoe. What? When? Well, how did he get out? No, no, Zoe, of course you didn't. I didn't... No, no, I'll, I'll come home now. Right away. Bye. What? Arnold's got out. Poor wee chappy. Oh no, is Zoe upset? Oh, upset? She probably packed him a bone for the journey. <laughs> Women, at least you know where you are with dogs. <laughs> Arnold. I still can't understand how he got out. Well, he just did. Look, Alec, if he liked us so much, he'd have stayed put. He doesn't think like we do, you know. Arnold! Nobody thinks like you do. If they did, pet shops would have signs saying, Lost a baby, buy a schnauzer. <laughs> Arnold! <whistles> Arnold! Alec, it's nearly midnight. He loves the park. You could have stayed at home, you know, Zoe. I'm fine. Don't cost it me. Arnold! I'll... Oh, you, you haven't seen a wee... <laughs> Sorry. Arnold! Arnold! Alec, I want to go home. Arnold! Oh. Do you think he's come back? We've been back three times already. Uh. Look, Alec, face up to it, he's not Lassie. That's it! Of course! I must find a phone box quickly. We must ring Hillary. Hillary? Aye! Come on, I'm coming down. Okay.
Alec, if you don't tell me what you're up to in the next three seconds, I'm going to scream. Then the neighbours will call the police. Sorry, and then be quiet. How dare you tell me to be quiet? I'm sorry. I mean, shh. Zoe, look at that. If that's what I think it is, hold that. Hello, old fella. <laughs> well, you're no lassie, but you're sure as hell grief eyes, Bobby. <laughs> oh, you miss your master, don't you, eh? What a sad way story. <laughs> oh, Zoe. I don't cry for grey fries bleeding, Bobby. <laughs> and I'm not crying for Arnold either. Sorry, Arnold. I'm just... <laughs> oh, so, so, so. <laughs> oh, let's go home. I want to cry where I won't run out of hankies. <laughs> hey, Derek, you'll like this one. Why don't the Queen wave with this hand? <laughs> the one I'm waving with, silly. <laughs> Cos it's mine. <laughs> what? That's not, I didn't get it either, Derek. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck down the job centre. Yeah, ta da. Oh, Miss Flood, when you take dictation, you take dictation. Leave, <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Poor Mr. Callender will be here any minute. Look, Miss Flood, I don't think you should call him poor Mr. Callender. Good morning, all. Oh, well, hi, Dad. Oh, hi, Zoe. Oh, oh, you be Zoe. back at school? Yeah, I think I went back about three years too early. We're going away for the weekend after all. Oh, oh. I am glad. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, oh, Miss Flood, please don't. Look, you're going to set me oh, off again. I'm so happy for oh. you. <laughs> Miss Flood, Hillary, please, look. I want to try to get back to normal. I need some cheerful news for once, eh? Hmm? What have I said now? Oh, nothing. Just don't. Nothing. What? what? It's just that Gerald and I... Oh, split up! Oh, Miss Flood! Don't you worry, there's still time to love again. <laughs> Not much, but there's still time. <laughs> Be quiet, Hilary. Gerald and I have decided... Get married. What? what? You old devil. Uh -huh. oh, Miss Flood, you're not. Of course not. <laughs> Miss Flood, why didn't you tell me? Well, it, it didn't seem appropriate in the circumstances. Oh, you silly thing. Oh, a little happiness never goes amiss, you know, Vera. Portia's asked me to marry her. Oh, shut up. <laughs> We must be psychic. We've got you an engagement. Present. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Miss Flood, did you get down on one knee? Oh, Miss Flood, you're my bridesmaid. <laughs> uh, uh, um, oh. It's only for the weekend, Vera. Yeah, and then we can have him put down. <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's a joke. I just want to get back to normal. 